A rather large update recently came out for the MCC, bringing some new features, content, playlists. We're also going to be talking about some upcoming events coming for MCC, some combat anniversary and Halo Reach flighting information, along with the first look of Halo 3 on PC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <laughs> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update when it comes to Halo. If you like these news, informational and videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and helps get more people to see the video, keep everyone up to date with what's going on in the, the Halo universe, guys. And if you like these kind of news, informational videos, and want to stay up to date, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the information here. So as usual, postums went up on the Halo Waypoint forums and posted a huge update for us to kind of dissect and go into it. And this one is a long run. So we're going to be breaking down more multiple videos of this update guys so again if you want to stay up to date with everything that was in those updates without having to borrow to read the whole thing give you the tldr and everything you need to know make sure you to tap subscribe guys so let's just hop right in and get at it so let's talk about the directly game changing things that happened today that you can go in and enjoy when it comes to the mcc first one is that the social 1v1 playlist a they removed magnum secondaries from halo reach head-to-head -head based on community feedback as he said it was supposed to be more kind of like a warm-up area for halo reach hardcore and so they just wanted to make more people rely on that dmr shot uh social 44 had some significant changes as well as that they replaced the slayer option with precision slayer and auto slayer basically the difference is it, between these two is that precision slayer includes weapon stars of the dmr BR or Magnum and also the auto slayer includes stars with like AR SMGs and Halo 4 loadouts. Uh, they also, also had some big team battle changes as well as they uh, reduced the movement timer from 120 seconds to 90 seconds and reduced the score to win from 250 to 200 basically just so that uh, people, you know, get the gameplay moving a little bit more with the 90 second timer on each hill and also reducing the time how long these games last down to 200 to help it kind of speed up the whole process of everything. Because yes, those games did last quite a bit longer than I would like them to. So I agree with that change for sure. And they also replaced territories with three plots on Tempest. And also for you people who've been wanting AR starts for your BTB, well now you actually have a chance to play it as they rotated in the experimental AR starts category containing AR starts versions of all core Halo Reach 8v8 maps and game variants. So basically they're gonna be testing out to see how this mode actually plays out since it's been a bit of a conversation within the community of maybe it should be AR starts rather than BR starts. And me personally, I like BR starts when I come, or DMR starts when it comes to uh, your BTB. Sorry for the acronym changes right there. But, um, you know, I understand like it could be causing a little bit of a stalemate and make it a little bit hard to move when you have DMR starts, but when you have a AR Magnum start, I can imagine that being a little overpowered when you have a vehicle or like a needle rifle or even a DMR or anything like that. So giving people what they want. And so if they, it's well populated and people like it more, they might make the change. That's why it's under the experimental settings. And now we have some CEA flight testing information for you guys as well. As we last time were updated, basically they said that we're planning to do ring one and two testing the last week of January. And hopefully for the first week of February, we would have get into ring three, aka us, the Halo Insiders. Um, but in this update, they don't really mention exactly what date's coming around as they did have to take some people from the publishing team of MCC to work over on Halo Wars 2 because there was recently like a Windows update that kind of messed up the game to made it so like if you clicked on anything in the game it would just crash. Obviously you need a game functional so then you can actually play the dang thing. And so they had to kind of take some resources so it's looking like it's going to get pushed back a little bit. I would assume sometime mid to maybe even later February we'll see these flights. I'm guessing probably more like mid-February since uh, we already have this game on PC and then actually the PC version of CE is what we were playing on MCC. Obviously CEA has never been on PC so that's what's kind of holding the whole thing up a little bit. They do mention that there are approximately 10 bugs slash issues that are blocking it from getting into ring one as they're going to keep, you know, refining the experience, working on these different issues to hopefully have something kind of going out pretty soon 
for the ring tests. So for the first flight that's going to be coming for us Halo Insiders when this actually does come out, what they're going to be testing are dedicated servers, the peer-to-peer -peer connections, the cross-play between Steam and Windows versions, new UI and custom for customization. And, and so, as well as the intelligent install when it comes to the PC version as this is gonna be the second game added to the MCC if you're playing on PC. And also keep in mind guys, they're also looking to do a reach flight for this as well as there's been a recent change with the game on the testing side of things where they want to implement crouching at any time you want when it comes to Halo Reach. What they're looking to do is do what they did very similar say like in Halo 5 where you're at any movement speed you can go ahead and crouch. This is basically so they can kind of try to merge the gap between advantages between uh, gamepad, controller, and PC play. Because basically if you're playing on PC, you're not gonna really gonna be able to use use crouch very often unless you completely stop crouch then move forward. Where say like on controller, you're actually the kind of time that just right you can crouch and move at the same time. It's actually a very useful tool to use while say like adding to your strafe or something like that. So that's why they're looking to implement that. Me personally, I kind of like how the crouching mechanic is right now in Halo Reach and the, for what you're playing right now at the moment. Uh, as in, in Halo 5, it was quite annoying oftentimes you come across people who would just spam the crouch button as part of a strafe, like you're playing whack-a-mole or something, and it could be quite annoying. So hopefully we'll see what kind of balance they make and see what the community likes. I Me, mean, if the community likes it, then go. we'll just go for it. Now another feature I want to talk about guys that's been added into the MCC that directly affects your gameplay experience is the new feature playlist has finally come around for us players right now. So if you go into the MCC you might look over to the far right and see some kind of weird looking kind of emblem. That's going to be the feature playlist. Right now what they have for the feature playlist is uh, going to be the CEA anniversary multiplayer experience. If you guys remember back in Halo Rage back in the day when CEA came out it came with a reach map pack which basically had your old CE maps like Penance, Battle, Can Battle Canyon, uh, Solitary, High Noon, all those classic CE maps are in reach. They also made it with like a three-shot pistol, no sprints, no armor abilities or anything. That's just kind of your classic Halo experience with three-shot Magnum on these maps. And if I do remember correctly, I did play it quite a bit back in the day, and it does play out a lot better than, say, your your TU updated settings. We also have three events coming us for us players here, guys, in February. A lot of information for you guys. And now we have the Black History Month, which is coming up for you guys. So the whole month of February, there's going to be a nameplate you will be able to unlock. Uh, so you can see right here, the Black History Month uh, nameplate. So players can earn the Black History Month nameplate by launching MCC during the month of February. This nameplate will be granted once per week, will not be unlocked immediately as they kind of have to review all the names, then give it to the players. That's going to be happening throughout the whole month of February. Then you also have another event happening in February, which is the Winter Contingency event, which is going to be happening February 5th through the 12th. But players can earn these two nameplates between February 5th and 18th. By completing matches within the Winter Contingency featured category, these nameplates will be granted once per week and not unlocked immediately. Now, I did watch the social stream that uh, 343 holds on every Wednesday, and they didn't say exactly what they know, what's going to be in the Winter Contingency event, what's this new category going to be like, but it's going to be something you can hop in and play. I mean, uh, that Skull Shattered Ice look nameplate looks pretty badass, not going to lie so i'm definitely gonna try to grind out for that now we also have a third event happening in february which is going to be the valentine's event which is going to be happening from february 12th to the 18th which is going to earn you the opportunity to get the nameplate put a ring on it basically it says completing 10 matches in any 2v2 ranked or social playlist or firefight doubles which will go live on february 12th now on top of those events, on top of these playlist changes, we're actually having rotating playlists coming in now for the MCC to give you a reason to come on to hop in by every other week to give you something new to play. So like right now, we have the CE Anniversary featured playlist, which is going to be uh, playing from today, January 29th, the day of this recording, to February 5th. So I'm definitely going to have to hop on and play that because those maps and modes play pretty freaking awesome. I'm sad it's going to be so short. And we also have Shoddy Snipers rotating in for February 19th through the 26th. They have Power Slayer. 
we're we're rotating in from March 26th through the 4th. If you guys don't know what Power Slayer is, basically a Power Slayer grants players the temporary power-ups for kills. Different power-up traits are applied for different types of kills, i.e. headshots and assassinations. So pretty interesting way to play the game. I'm definitely looking forward to play that for sure. We also have Big Team Battle, AR Sergeant X in the Experimental category, which is launched on the 29th. And it's a uh, to be determined date when they feel like that's uh, they got enough information whether or not people like this playlist or not. And lastly, guys, you get a first look at CEA Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 3 on PC, guys, as they are all being worked on simultaneously right now at the moment. And so what's going to, you can see the screenshot right here of CEA on the flood level. Again, looks pretty freaking awesome. Basically, they said they recently hit the alpha stage when they got back from the break, and they're working on different beta candidates to see which ones can start out with these flights. Uh, they still need to work on mod support, ter terminal videos, multiplayer deterministic model on PC, which I might have to ask some questions on that one, exactly what they mean by that, and localization work, bug fixes, and flighting support. And we have a great screenshot here of Halo 2 Anniversary. If you guys do not know, this is high charity and looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get a chance to play this game in particular on PC, which is kind of just look absolutely amazing. They're still working on mouse and keyboard support, field of view support, aspect ratio support, uh, variable variable frame rate support is currently in progress, and also uh, profiling for minimum specs. And Forge support has begun as well for this. So hopefully Halo 2 Anniversary will launch with Forge, which will be huge for that game, because that game definitely needs a second go because it got an unfair shake with the launch of the MTC. And I'm now we're at the part I'm sure you're all excited about, Halo 3 coming to PC. As you can see the screenshot right there, the extended FOV, the higher resolution, the greatness of bringing this game to PC. I know a lot of people are excited about being able to play Halo 3 on PC, and uh, a lot of the same kind of issues with uh, Halo 2 Anniversary, they're looking to update with this game as well. Whew, that's a lot of information, I know guys. When there, there's more to come, we have more information from this blog post, which is gonna be linked in the description down below if you wanna read the whole thing, more power to you, but I can also just break it down for you and give you the TLDR and all the good stuff. So, if you guys like these kind of news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. As it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this, helps more people get the chance to see this and get them excited about being able to play MCC on PC and all that other greatness that's coming for the game as well with those great playlist updates. And if you guys want to stay updated with everything going on in Halo, make sure you tap subscribe as it keeps you up to date and uh, you get to stay on the cutting edge of Halo news. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.